Hello, welcome back for another review. I have another fall collection. I have so many coming this week. Today I'm going to be talking about the Morgan Taylor No Boundaries collection and then later on I will have the Essie Fall collection and then the Orly Fall collection, Wild Nature collection. So I'm excited about those but let's talk about the Morgan Taylor collection. I love this brand. Their brushes are the best. If you haven't tried Morgan Taylor you need to try them. Their brush is amazing and they've really been doing a great job with their collection and I really like this one a lot. It's got really nice seasonal creams that are perfect for fall and I love their kind of rich and sultry and a little bit moody which I really love for fall. This collection got me really excited for fall too. I just did a review of the OPI fall collection and that one got me in the mood for fall too but this one is more of like a kind of moody vibe which I really really like. Okay and I will have comparisons for these. I don't have a ton of Morgan Taylor polishes but I did do comparisons to all the polishes I have in my collection OPI SE and anything else that I found that was super close to this. There are some that are kind of close to polishes and other brands so that was kind of fun and interesting to to see as well. Morgan Taylor sent these to me. They are available at Beyond Polish. As you guys always know, I'll put my code here. I have a code for that if you want a discount and you want to purchase there. And I really appreciate that you purchase from my link because it's an affiliate link. So thank you for that. Let's talk about them. The first one I have is Keep Em Guessing and it's a really beautiful beige mauve taupe shade. It's a beautiful nude. It's got an amazing formula. It's going to be opaque in two beautiful coats and with that lovely shaped brush, it's just going to glide on so easily and the formula is just so nice. Morgan Taylor has really been doing a good job with their formulas. There are so many polishes like this in nail polish land, you guys. <laughs> There really are and I really love them all. This one has a little bit of a different variation. So the comparisons that I did are really just to kind of show you the different tones that you can have even though they're very similar. So I just wanted to give you an idea of where it fit in those color tones. So I compared it to Chillin' with Jack and that one's slightly more gray and then Topless Beach is more of like a purple brown and a little bit darker I believe and then Chinchilli was a little darker and a little more purple too but I just wanted to give you that idea. So a lot of the ones that Essie has that are in this color family are a little bit more gray or more purple or a little bit more beige and so I felt like this one kind of fit in between that and OPI I feel like has a lot of these kind of shades that are more rosy and not as taupey if that makes sense. So this one's a little bit different. It probably was closest to Chillin' with Jack um, as far as the Morgan Taylor line goes at least that I have. That one's just a little bit more gray. So I really liked this one and I think I will reach for it in the fall. It's just nice to have a beautiful neutral if you're wearing dark rich colors so it's one of my favorite shades to wear in fall the next one is catch me if you can it's this beautiful muted pumpkin orange it's got a touch of pink in it which I really like I like oranges with a touch of pink a little better than just your straight-up orange and I just think it looks better at least on my skin tone I don't know how you guys feel about that but it's got an amazing for me it's gonna be opaque in two beautiful coats it's a beautiful nice soft kind of orange cream pumpkin spice color that is just perfect in the fall. Other nail polish lines have really been coming out with colors like this pretty recently and so this one was pretty close to those. I felt like it was really really close to Taj Mahal from Essie. That one maybe has a little bit more pink but my bottle of that is completely dried up. I need to find another one. I think that one's really hard to find and it's a little bit older and I really like it so I'm glad that this one's a little bit close to that because I think I will be reaching for this one. Some of the other comparisons that I did were Claim to Fame and that one's more of a red and it has a matte finish and so I wanted you to see that next to this one and then Freedom of Peach is almost exact too maybe just a touch darker but very very close I feel like this one maybe leans a touch more pink if I'm correct and then I wanted to show it next to Fall for NYC because I feel like that one had quite a bit of yellow and I like this one better than that one so if I had to choose I really did like this one quite a bit out of all of those out of all the other ones that I talked about, Taj Mahal is probably my favorite, but I just love the muted quality of this one. I really think if you don't have any pumpkin shades like this, it's a really nice one to pick up. I think sometimes with medium skin tones, these kind of colors are hard because they're almost close to your skin tone. So that's the issue that I have with them at times. Like on me, it just doesn't really stand out too much. And so that's sometimes why I don't reach for them. But if you have a lighter skin tone or a darker skin tone, you're really going to love this. And who knows, if you have a medium medium skin tone wear it <laughs> but for me um, sometimes I just have a hard time because it just 
matches my skin kind of. I think as I'm not as tan and my skin gets a little more pale, I might like it a little bit more in the fall, but I really do like this color tone quite a bit. This next one is totally trailblazing and another brown. We've had quite a few browns that are being released and this one actually is kind of close to the ones <laughs> and I'll show that in a minute, but it's a red tone brown and it does have a little bit of a muted quality, which I love. I love the look of all of these together and I'll hold them up in a second so you guys can see them, but they just go so well together, just the muted quality. Quality. It's got a fantastic formula. It's going to be opaque, I believe. I think I had to do two coats. I always like to do two anyway, but you might be able to get away with one with this. I can't remember what I did for my live swatch, but it's just so beautiful and the formula is just so glossy like I almost I mean I always do a top coat but I almost felt like I didn't need to do a top coat with this one just because it's so glossy and beautiful and there are a few of those in this collection so let's get into comparison so cliffside karaoke was a touch warmer but really close espresso your inner self is almost exactly the same totally trailblazing seems to almost have a more touch of mauve but I think it's going to be really hard to tell the difference in that. And so I might like this one a little bit more because it's a touch mauve. I don't know. I think I like this one better than Espresso Your Inner Selfie. But real, or selfie, I, want to say, I always want to say selfie. Self, they're both beautiful, so you can't go wrong. So if you picked up that one from OPI, you probably don't need this one. And then I just wanted to show it next to Squeaker of the House so you could see how cool toned that one is compared to these other browns that I have. I really did like this one. If you don't have a brown cream and you love Morgan Taylor, this is a really fantastic one to pick up. Now we're getting into some richer colors and the next one I have here is Afternoon Escape. It's this really beautiful bright orange cream. It's kind of a red orange terracotta but it does have a little bit of brightness to it. The formula on this one's fantastic too. It's going to be opaque in one to two coats. I think you can get away with one. Like I said I always do two and with that brush it just goes on so nicely. It's a little bit muted but it's also a little bit more rich than the other ones that I just showed. There are other lines that are coming out with a lot of polishes like this too. So I knew you guys would want to see comparisons for this one. So I compared it to Yank My Doodle and that's more muted, a little bit less red. And then Yes I Canyon is very, very close. So Afternoon Escape is just a touch darker than that and maybe just a little bit richer. And then my solar clock is ticking is more rose toned, but close. So I'll let you decide which one you like out of all those. They're all a little bit different. Um, but kind of close. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard with orange to get a really accurate picture. So hopefully you can see the differences of those in the picture. But it's a really beautiful one and it really goes in cohesively with this collection. This next one is Uncharted Territory. This is like one of my favorite kind of shades to wear for fall. It's this beautiful kind of raisiny wine berry shade. It's just so beautiful. This one's a little bit muted too and it's just it's so pretty. The formula is fantastic. It's going to be opaque in one to two coats and it just glides on so easily and it's just really rich and beautiful and that's really what I love about fall polishes are is they're just they just go on so rich and vibrant and I think it's kind of fun after you're having all those bright summer colors to just have some deep rich colors. Okay so let's talk about the comparisons for this one. I compared it to Como Sayama. That is one of my favorite OPI polishes for fall. It's really beautiful. That one seems to have a little bit more orange in it but it's very very close and then we have orly red rock i really love that orly collection if you guys want to catch my review on that i'll put a link to that down below the collection last year they did was just amazing i loved it so much and this was one of my favorites from that collection it is very very close you guys this one maybe orly maybe has a touch more purple than uncharted territory but they're very very close and their formulas are both a little bit more muted instead of that rich undertone which como sayama and the next one i have here called can't reap without my lipstick have it's more of like a rich and less muted finish so can't read without my lipstick is a little bit darker and has more of a red tone so that one's different too but they're all along that same kind of color family really there are some that are close but I'll let you decide which one you like out of all these and if you really need it or not This last one is Laying Low and it's this beautiful, very dark, very rich navy blue. And it has a little bit of a brightness to it which makes the blue stand out and show up just a little bit so it doesn't look really deep and dark and almost black, which I really, really like. And I will say with all these darker colors, you're probably gonna wanna wear a base coat with these. I don't tend to have a lot of issues with staining. I know people ask me about that a lot, but anytime you have darker colors, you're gonna wanna wear a base coat for sure just to kind of prevent that. As far 
far as just removing these, I didn't notice a ton of staining. Maybe a little bit. You're always going to get that with really inky, inky blues like this one. So just keep that in mind. But I really love this navy blue. <laughs> there are a lot of navy blues every fall that come out and that's okay. You just need to decide which one you want. The formula on this one's really nice though. It's nice and glossy. It's just so, so glossy. Like you don't even need a top coat. So I think the one that OPI has, well, let's talk about those comparisons. Isn't it Grand Avenue? That one's close. It's a touch less rich. So it's got a little bit more of a white base, I believe. So it's going to be tiny, slightly bit more muted than this. So they're a little bit different, but honestly, all these navies are pretty close. Booties on Broadway. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it's a little more deep and maybe has a touch of green in it. So they're just slightly different. And then March in Uniform is a little bit brighter and maybe has a little bit of a purple cast to it. And those are the differences there, but you're really not going to be able to tell a huge difference with the navies, but they are kind of different tones just so you can see that. So I really liked this one too. Here are all the colors together. It's just a really nice, balanced, moody fall collection. I like it a lot. Okay, let me pick my favorites. This is going to be kind of hard because there are some that are pretty common. I'm going to pick these three and look how pretty those look together. Oh, that just makes me really want fall. If I had to throw another one in here, I'd throw in this one. Those are really fun. So we've got, keep them guessing, this nude one, Uncharted Territory, Uncharted Territory, and then totally trailblazing right here. So those are my favorites from the collection. Let me know down below what your favorites are and what you think about this collection. I think if you're a Morgan Taylor polish lover and you're really trying to collect, these are perfect to add to your collection for that. So let me know how you like Morgan Taylor. I always say this, but it's a brand that doesn't get talked about very much, but I think it's a really standout brand. It's probably one of my top brands. Anyway, thanks so much for joining and thanks for shopping off my affiliate link if you did. And don't forget to like and comment and thanks so much guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.